While Rick and Morty season seven, episode nine was far from the show's darkest hour, this wacky outing did set up a shocking new villain for the series after its post credit scene. Rick and Morty's anti-hero Rick has made plenty of enemies throughout the show's seven seasons, although not all of these foes are as serious as his longtime nemesis, Rick Prime. Ever since season seven, episode five killed off Rick Prime unexpectedly, the show has been without a primary antagonist. Since Rick and Morty is usually an anarchic episodic comedy series, this isn't necessarily a problem. However, Rick and Morty season seven, episode nine did still set up a new villain for the show, albeit one who might prove too unlikely and absurd to make many more appearances. Rick and Morty's season seven story was free to go anywhere after Rick Prime's death, and episode nine saw Rick take full advantage of his newfound freedom. After proving that heaven existed, Rick went to Valhalla to access the afterlife's source of perpetual energy. In the process, he made an enemy of Bigfoot, but it was another real life figure who soon became Rick's latest nemesis, Rick and Morty season seven. Episode nine's post credit scene makes the Pope Rick's enemy. In episode nine, the Pope hired Bigfoot as an assassin for the Vatican. This led to an alliance between Rick Morty and Bigfoot when the cryptid realized he was being played for a fool. Eventually, Rick defeated the Pope by trapping him in a poke bowl, making the leader of the Catholic Church his latest powerful enemy. As if the Pope's defeat wasn't enough, Rick then used him to fight in illegal Pokemon matches and eventually replaced him on Earth with Rick's own clone. Thus, another Rick and Morty season seven post credit scene revealed a potential new villain for the show. The end of Rick and Morty season seven, episode six, saw Morty's sentient Churro threaten to hunt him down after he betrayed him. However, the Pope was not quite as vengeful in episode nine's post credit scene, partially because he was still two days to fully understand what had happened. The Pope was about to partake in a Pokemon battle when the police arrived, leading Rick and his accomplices to run while leaving a Pokemon and a confused Pope behind. It was only when the Pope saw Rick's clone standing in for him that he understood what had happened and knew that Rick had gotten one over on him. Rick and Morty season seven needs a new major villain after Rick Prime. While Rick C137 could go after evil Morty after Rick Prime's death, Rick and Morty season seven needs a replacement villain who is less implacable than Morty's alternate incarnation. Despite his name, Evil Morty helped Rick and Morty out in episode five. As such, Rick doesn't have much of an excuse to fight him. Admittedly, it would be a little weird if Rick and Morty reused the Pope in further episodes, since it is not clear whether he is intended to be a parody of the real life Pope or a fictional creation. However, anything can happen in Rick and Morty's world, so Rick's latest nemesis may well appear again after season seven, episode nine's bizarre post-credits scene.